was there, Portsmouth, Virginia. I met Coleman there. Mm. He was an old, old man, a little short guy. I remember real him. Good too. Did he tattoo you? I wouldn't let him tattoo me. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> he was a little short guy, wore a captain's hat. Mm -hmm. I remember him. He was on Crawford Street with a Ed Peace mm -hmm. at the time. And uh, he was an old, old man at the time. He was about 90 years old at the time. I wouldn't get it. He wore, wore very, very thick glasses, I remember. Wore a t shirt and a captain's hat. And then two days later, I went back and I had the flames put on. And the thing was like, you know, <laughs> oozing. And he still just grabbed my arm and just went right into it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, that's for chiseling me down. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two bucks for our study. I tattooed. Richie did a lot of my early stuff. Broke his balls like crazy. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then I started, to, to, you know, out of the house. You know, I had a regular job. And uh, here I is today. <laughs> I was tattooing at the time. It was in 73 or, yeah, something like that. And I brought down the stencil for this tattoo. And I says to Tony, uh, we waited. He was busy. And I said, I'd like to get this. And then I wanted to get this parrot over here, but he couldn't find the stencil, which I really think he wanted to do this peacock because nobody else did it <laughs> or got it, so he figured this kid will get it. But anyhow, <laughs> so when I gave him the stencil for this, he went, what are you doing with a stencil? You know, back then you didn't walk in with a stencil. I went, oh, I uh, tattoo it. He went, who are you? I went, at that time, I was smart enough to go on the Rocco first before <laughs> running, figuring I'd cover my tracks up as I went along. You know, so I go, he goes, you're the guy carving up everybody. He goes, and who are you? He goes, Billy. He goes, and you. Like, the two of us are standing there like, you know, in the cartoon, like, oh, that right. was the first piece I saw by Tony. It was right. Oh, man, luscious. The green was in there. Red. Oh, yeah, yeah. That green is there. Yeah. It's there no more. And the guy, the guy went, I don't really like this one. <laughs> yeah, right. They didn't even know what was good then. Yeah. yeah. yeah it doesn't work like that. I mean, you really got to <laughs> yeah. put in your time. Yeah. You go through relationships. It's yeah. like you you got to sacrifice your summers, your weekends, whatever it is you you, you did, and that's what it called for. So realistically, right. I think that's it's a little yeah. different now. People they they make an appointment to do their one big tattoo a day. They got to take a picture of a fresh, you know, right off the press. I want to see it 10 years down the pike, but that's another story. And, you know, that's that's emblazoned in history forever, this photograph. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, like Tony was saying, these guys, you know, we were in the trenches. It was like one after another. And yeah, that's a different game, through. different game. Wait, did I go off on a tangent? What you can't really, uh, <laughs> that was it. I don't think you can really now, compare the two. This is no. this, that's... Yeah, that's so if we were in another tattoo shop, yeah. we'd be by Stanley okay. and Walters in Long Island listening to stories about the Bowery that's and true. enjoying every minute and coming out of there <laughs> higher than any drug you could take. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. It was a high just for these guys to accept the fact that you're the new guys and they're still talking shit with you like you're on their level. And they'd say to me and Pete, you guys would have been perfect and on the Bowery for the style of stuff it that was, you do. It was a difficult task to get those colors to get into the skin. You had to know what you were doing. Like Tony says, you had to have those machines running right. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't have that, you had to put effort into it. Today, your needles are packaged, your tubes sure. are throw away, your machines are throw away. Yeah, China, yeah. throw away. <laughs> throw away. Yeah, and, and then the What's other, up? you you spending $500 for a great running machine right out of the box. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. You know. Where you know, you guys had to spend years just to learn the amount of tension to put on a rear spring. And if anybody told you something, 99% of the time it was a lie, mm -hmm. a tree, a curveball. Yeah, ball. yeah <laughs> they, you know, just to see if you had the, uh, the, mox the balls to get back up. I watch all the tattoo shows. I Do don't you? Give a shit. Yeah. Oh, I can't stand it. <laughs> wow, you must be the only one. I'm okay. <laughs> the only one who admits it, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what? This week they had uh, they had all of them do traditional tattoos. They were all uh, like kind of... Yeah. Really? Yeah, they all thought they had it done, then the judges were going, that shit, this is that, yeah. that's that, you did. Well, and the guys were going, you know, it's a heavy line, and it's mm. got to be solid, and, you know, the outline on that real artistic stuff is not that important. Well, let me ask you this, how long did it take them to do it, a regular... Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't, like, I'm just like you, know, you see a guy like uh, now yeah, doing a tattoo, they're trying yeah. to make the outline look like they saw on a tattoo that's 30 years old. Sure. You know, it might have been a five... 
right. you know, a tight, you know, a relatively tight five then, mm -hmm. but now they're trying to do it with a 14-round. Right. You know, <laughs> yes, what's exactly. it going to look like? <laughs> right. You know, like, you're seeing a tattoo that's <laughs> aged. Yeah, and all the like, five needle lines from what yeah. year, Rich? About 71. Five? Five? Four, five. It's four, a beautiful five. tattoo. But look at the size of like, them. Five needle. Well, they didn't tighten them then either, the five yeah. stuff. But Yo, still. Tony, what did you do these with? Fives? Which one? Probably five. That was the uh, needles. was fives. Yeah, they were like five, right? Five. Yeah, look how beautiful they are. Mm -hmm. How nice and solid. Richie's dying to do this yeah. over on them, too. That's the best thing. Now leave them out. No, do it all. That's beautiful. Yeah. He's dying to do it all. Yeah. Yeah. Christ oh, no. Ted was the big seller. Oh, yeah. You know, yes. I did a Christ Ted a little different from the one they were getting. No, they you... thought it was the greatest thing in the world. This wasn't the one with the crew. It looked like Don Amici when I got it. <laughs> <laughs> they all wanted it. Oh, wait. It's like Don Amici. Oh, wait, with the mustache? <laughs> oh, no. The mustache. No, Freddie did the zigzag mustache. You did the, 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 the one that was like. Like the little pointy mustache. So you might be right. I know, right? No, Freddie did the hairs this way and made a mustache that way, and then you did sort of like no, my like my Salvador Dali. <laughs> <laughs> but they liked him because he had every color in it. You never saw Christ with so many colors. The Smalling catalog. Right. It was like the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. Okay. But now as a guy could go on Google. Oh, and yeah, type in minutes, yeah, two pigment, and the right. answers will be there. Right. Maybe not, the, you know, hundred percent correct. No, but that but they're on matter. the path. They're down the path. Guaranteed. But, but let me ask you, know. you this here, just as a hypothetical situation, which I don't think it would happen. It's not like a zombie apocalypse. But let's just say hypothetically, all of a sudden they didn't supply pre-made needles. How many people would go under? A lot. This table won't. <laughs> <laughs>